Well, I'm artifacts of Mars. And here we go. National Polar Bear Radio. Just flirting on with getting put on my do not use except under ridicule list. Along with Clinton News Network and Washington Compost. They, uh, are a lie. They used a video here and information from some place called Channel 4. And I'll get to the Channel 4 in a minute. I did some tracing and they are in the UK. They're not what you think. At any rate, uh, their NPR is sitting there complaining that this company worked to help defeat Hologram Hillary in the election. They're always complaining about that. See, Hologram Hillary was supposed to win. Donald Trump was just supposed to step aside and let her in because she was the chosen one. Eh, didn't work, did it? We did all the research, all the data, all the analytics, all the targeting, we ran all the digital campaign, television campaign, and our data informed all the strategy. Nix told the undercover reporter. So, we just put information onto the bloodstream of the internet and then watched it grow, give it a little push every now and then, over time and watch it take shape, he says. And so this stuff infiltrates an online community, but with no branding, so it's unattributable, untrackable. So it's 90% of the stuff on the internet. So what? I can buy Artifacts of Mars. That's my screen name, it's not my real name. Help disseminate that information, the managing director of CA Political, Mark Turnbull, describes using proxies such as charity and act activist groups. We use them, feed them the material, and they do the work. As we reported Tuesday, Nix has been suspended from the company following the broadcast the first part of on Channel 4, a report in which he is heard describing political dirty tricks used to compromise and undermine targeted politicians on behalf of their clients. They all use dirty tricks. That's called mudslinging. It's politics. It's a good old American tradition. In his latest report, executives said data analytics firms confirmed they had managed to get Trump elected by just 40,000 votes in three states despite having lost popular vote by more than 3 million. Too bad. Cambridge Analytica's chief data scientist, Alexander Taylor, who has been tapped as interim CEO following Nixon's suspension, says sometimes you have to separate Cambridge Analytica's spending from the political campaign itself. Now, I'm going to break this down. This is a PR firm. That's what they are. All politicians use PR firms. If they don't, they don't get to become politicians. Of course, National Polar Bureau Radio, which is uh, almost to the left of Stalin, uh, doesn't like that. So now we're going to take a look at this uh, fraud we call Channel 4. Oh, well, they're a real channel. I think they're what they are is an internet channel. As near as I can tell. I don't believe that Channel 4 is a regular TV station per se. And I'm going to show you why. Now, here they have the weather apparently for all of England. See, a TV station is more localized. And this, and they'll have up here, like in this country, they'll have graphic up the top. Let's just say Greensboro area or 
Rochester area or whatever. No such thing here. They're fairly big. At least they would have you believe that. How many people work with them, I don't know. Frankly, I think it's just a bunch of liberals. Who, uh... Are working... Uh, with groups like NPR, but... Who can tell? Here's their video... Cambridge Analytica uncovers secret of Trump state of firm. It's a video from National Pulitzer Beer Radio. NPR. And here's our YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you their about page. News is committed to challenging expectations with stories that reveal and inspire innovatively produced with just a touch of mischief. I don't think they're a regular TV station. I think they're internet only. That's what it looks like. It's hard to tell. If they're looking in the United States, I'd say definitely they're not a broadcast news uh, TV station, but they're in the UK, things may work differently there, so who knows? You know, same same message uh, repeated again here on their uh, Facebook ch page. It's hard to say, other than they have a. Uh, Well, you can see it for yourself. If I mentioned it, I'd probably get a content strike, but... See what I'm highlighting there? It, uh... Shows their... What their moral structure is. Shall we say? Other than that... This is utterly ridiculous. Alright. I'm going to cap this right here. All politicians hire PR firms. Or they're not going to be in the race for very long if they don't. Unbelievable. And now they switch. The left is after a year and a half of going after Russia and saying, yeah, there's collusion with Russia and they haven't been able to find anything. Now they're going after Cambridge Analytica. Who knows what it'll be next week. Let me explain something to you folks. Uh, Hologram Hillary had all sorts of PR firms. They're called CNN, ABC, CBS, NBC, NPR, PBS. They're all P they were all PR firms for Hologram Hillary. Of course, they'll deny it. They said we're new objective news organizations. No, they're PR firms. That's what they are. They're PR firms for the Democratic Party. So, screw them. That's the way I see it. NPR, you can get bent. Go take a flying leap. Channel 4, you can get bent. Go take a flying leap. In fact, I'm going to go one step further. Go piss up a rope. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.